else on his mind drives it curling. Welcome back to FPTV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at AJ Kelly Field for this round two. Brisbane Premier League clash between Peninsula Power and North Star. It's the second round. We missed out last week due to the rain, but we're back and I can tell you now that it started raining here on the Peninsula. That's not going to stop the game going ahead. Peninsula Power, again guided by the dynamic duo of Moon and McNichol, have had some very good signings over the off-season and will be a serious threat going forward. Whereas North Star have put together a side with a lot of players have Premier League experience that it'll be interesting to see if they can gel this early in the season. The officials for tonight's match are referee Casey Rybelt and her assistant referees Carl Harper and Sunil Chand. And the Premier League's underway for 2013. Ball slipped through for Butters. In behind, cuts it across and cleared out for a throw in. Reesby, Hurland, cushions it back. Loudon inside, great touch of Hearn. Turns out of trouble, Hurland. Loudon's continued his run. Gets around, man. Cuts it across. North Star defence stands firm. Hurland, changing direction. And again. Gets the ball in. To Baird's feet. Turn, shoots, and... Straight at Eccles in goals for North Star, who releases early. North Star look to break quickly down the far side. Bassnet around Gorsi, head up. Great ball in, Midnicka! Couldn't get a touch. Corner in, Moon! Makes it 1-0 in the seventh minute. Oh, good header from the coach. Hurland's corner. Moon. Gets away from his defender. Puts it in the roof of the net. 1-0 power. Reesby with it long. Oh, sublime touch, Hurlin. Loudon. What will he do? He takes his man on. Yes. Gets it across. And again, good numbers in the centre there for North Star. Hurlin. It's all going through him at the moment. Great ball. Butters, again in behind, drives it. Eccles down smartly to his right and collects it on the second grab. Ball inside. Moon, great change of direction. Great ball. Butters on the far side. Gets his head up. Drives it in. Oh, missed header. Bobbling around. It's cleared only as far as Hurlin. Gets it back, shoots, bad toe, goal, no flag. Offside. Ooh, power could be up by a couple more. Ball forward. Cushioned down by Bassnet. Touched by Hastings. Bassnet again. Gets his head up. Plays it forward. Mikhail Hastings shoots. Wide of the post from distance. Hurland gets it inside, turns, plays it, oh, late tackle there, I think, referee's got the card out, yes, and Hastings, Alex, the other of the twins, gets a card. Good battling in the middle of the park, Loudon out, Hurland, or oh, pushes it and goes, leaves man standing. Gets the ball across, and oh, oh bad. I'm not sure how he's going to score. Ball forward by Loudon, into the channel. Hurland cuts inside, shoots, shoots and scores, Hurland! In the 26th minute to make it 2-0 to Peninsula Power. Oh, we'll have to look at that again, here it comes. Cuts inside. Nothing else on his mind. Drives it. Curling. Eccles. Ever so close to keeping it out. But doesn't. And it's 2-0 to the power. Good work. Lays it back. Ball straight in. Hastings with the header. Loops just the wrong side of the post. 
ball cut out. Chance for North Star to break quickly. Man, the little bit of time. Puts it into the middle. Prevatera will collect. Confronted by Love. Plays it inside. Hastings, first time into the box. And oh, Bassnet from four yards out. Should have scored. Ball driven into the box. Reesby comes and oh, has a bit of a juggle. Collects the wet ball. Hurling inside. Good touch. Ball given away. Hastings to man. Oh, good follow-up play. Ahern wins it back. Baird turns. Plays it forward. Butters. Still going. Eccles! Brave at the feet. Oh, bustling play in the middle of the park. Moon's in there. Privatera as well. Hurland comes away with it. Still going or oh, changes direction. Loudon's made a great run. He's in behind. He's in behind again. Goal line pulls it back. McNichol straight at Eccles. Great tackle, Hastings. He's still there. He's still got it. Bassnet rides the first one. Still going. Goes down. No complaint from the player. Play on, says the referee. Good call. Bassnet's got it again. McNichol comes away with it. Gets his head up. Unleashes Butters again down this right side. He's got far too much space. He's in behind. Cuts it across. Oh, bad! Nearly didn't get his feet right, but in the end he did. Makes it 3-0 in the 40th minute. Let's have a look. Butters again in behind. Perfect ball. Nearly overran it, Michael Baird. Got his feet right. Puts it into the bottom corner. Inside or cut out too easily. Hastings inside. Prevatera. Bassnet. Good turn. Shoots. Puts his shot wide of the mark. Oh, McNichols come away with it. Will he shoot? No, he's laid it off. Bad, bad shoot. Seckles pushes it over the bar for a corner. Ball driven into the box and bad somehow has played it off the knee, I think. Kept it down and put it into the corner to make it 4 0 in the 45th minute. Comes across from Butters. Somehow, I think that's a shinner. It don't matter. It's in the back of the net and it counts. Second half started very much the same as the first ended. Mossen with a good ball outside. Power. Baird cuts inside. The shot. Ooh. Again, Eccles down well to his right. Bonner forward. Oh, great touch. Ball across and it misses everyone. Oh, great step over. Hurlin on the left. Great ball. Searching ball. Bonner goes down. There's appeals and the referee's given a penalty. There'll probably be a card as well. I would suspect. Yes, here it comes. But a penalty to Peninsula Power in the 50th minute. Bed for his hat trick. Puts it. Oh, and Eccles went the right way, but too much power on the ball. Let's have a look. Unlucky Eccles. He actually went over it, but it makes it 5 0. Ball forward by Love. Great ball. Bonner. Head up. Puts it across. Eccles cuts the cross out. Ball forward. Flag stayed down. Shot comes in, and it's wide of the mark. Oh, great change of play. Butters hits it. Eccles does well to hold on in the conditions. Well won by Sito. Still going, Jordan Sito. Baird's back. That'll be a free kick. And it is. Again, a fantastic change of play by Moon. Butters for Baird. Baird in space. He's in behind again. Looks up. Measures his cross. Bonner. Turn, shoots. And deflected over and out for a corner. 
Ahern turns away. Lays it for Butters. First time through. Fantastic ball. Bonner's onside around the keeper. Goes for goal. Man gets himself back. And Eccles recovers. Oh, great turn. Into space. Ball drops to Bassnet. Bassnet shoots. He's taken a deflection and oh, he's taken a knock as well, I think. Oh, good collision in the middle of the park with Bassnet and Bear. North Star keep going forward. Lou cuts it back. And a shot from Pedigree. Goes the wrong side of the post. Ball in. Hastings for Pedigree. Gets through the gap. Still going. Oh, good tackle. It had to be. Ball play cut out early on the far side. Ball in early on the far side. Bad! Oh, it's the easiest chance he's had all night. And he's put her over the bar from three yards out. He'll be disappointed, will Michael Baird. Ball forward. Oh, North Star with good possession in dangerous areas. Step overs everywhere. Ball across pedigree. Nice touch. Bassnet shoots Reesby. Bassnet off. Butters and into the net. And North Star have pulled one back in the 80th minute. We'll have to have a look at that one again. Step overs everywhere, ball in, clever touch pedigree, Bassnet reacts, great save Reesby, Bassnet again and off the knee of Butters to give North Star a consolation goal late in this game. Mawson feeling the effects of that tackle, gets up and tries to walk it off, oh good ball again, Butters rides the first challenge, gets his head up. Plays it. Oh, Hastings was late. He could be in trouble. Yes, referee's got a card. It'll be a yellow one. So Mikhail Hastings goes into the book. North Star again. Good ball through the channel. Pedigree cuts it back. And Loudon. Good defensive work. Ahern. And that's the full-time whistle, which sees this round two Brisbane Premier League match end Peninsula Power 5 North Star 1 I knew I was playing against the top 3 team and I knew it was going to be tough with the experience they got in their team I think um, if you add up uh, Mooney uh, McNichol mm. and Herland's age probably adds up to my whole squad <laughs> <laughs> don't show them that but in the second half what we did was uh, we obviously made a couple of changes I went three at the back and I pushed an extra man into midfield and I thought we were the better team in the second half even in the first half we had three chances to score they had probably six or seven but we had three, and sometimes in football, if you bury one or two of those, game changes. And that's what, I, um, as I said to my lads after the game, I'm proud of every one of them. You know, they're young, they learnt, um, and, and they went out there and they experienced. To be fair, I was a little bit disappointed in the referee. Um, I thought that she, um, she had the game in the first half really, really well. And I saw, I mean, they, bring, they brought on three uh, English lads, of, of big strong lads, and they were going through the tackles pretty well. But we were getting, we were getting soft yellow cards. I mean, we got three yellow cards that where I saw another three from the opposition. I'm not going to cry about it, but I'm just, I just hope that they watch these videos as well and learn from their mistakes as well and, and, and improve their performance. Yeah, I want to thank Warren and, and Scotty for the lesson they taught us in the first half because we're going to learn more from that 4-0 drubbing in the first half than we will you know, winning the games very easily. So a lot of the young lads now will take it on board and uh, we'll watch the video um, and, and sit and analyse what we have to do. And those young lads will learn. I mean, yeah. I, think my, I think my oldest player in the back was 20 years old, so I can't complain. I cannot complain. We're, we're doing okay. We were really happy with about 60 minutes of the game, and that last 30 minutes got a little bit scrappy, but we, we had a few boys went off injured and a few boys carrying a few knocks. Last year, I think one of the things that we wanted to work on was that we were slow starters and always chasing the game, especially at home. So it was just really pleasing to start well. Um, and I think just to get in the park, the boys have been itching to go for a few weeks now, and, you know, like it was scrappy second half, but, you know... We, Three boys went off injured and I oh, did my groin and, you know, finished it with ten men really. But we have just got to be pleased to be off the park with three points for the first game of the year. We knew that with, um, with keeping Richie that we wanted to play him high left and basically we wanted a left back that could get up and down. And with Jordan, his fitness sort of showed tonight how much he could get up and down. It allows Rich to come in a little bit and play. So, And uh, Mossy did well when he came on as well. So it's just getting the run in their legs too because, I mean, uh, Jordan only just got cleared and Grant's not played too much football. So it's good to get them. It was good to get 45 minutes in him. And then Betty, we know that we're going to get 
quality through him if we can get the ball into the box. And the team spirit that we've got in the change room is fantastic and everything we do and we put in place for players that have played at a high level themselves, they still listen and just do the job that's asked of them. And When we do shape work, the, the whole team basically goes through it together so we all should know where we want to play. So if someone has to move out of position, they know what their job is. And The boys showed tonight we had to shuffle it around a little bit with a few injuries and the people who came on did well in the areas that they came on in. Yeah, look, it's just a good start from our point of view. We've still got a, you know, it's 22 games this year and I think any side that wants to win the league has to beat Wolves and we're yet to do that and uh, we feel like we need to do that if we do want to win the league. So we'll see how we go. There's some good sides as well. Though. There's other good sides, you know, Rochdale, there's still a force so, and Lions as well. Yeah, it's some good teams in the league still. So. And there we have it. A 5-1 victory to Peninsula Power over North Star in this Friday night second round BPL match. Now the cameras will be out at Underwood Park tomorrow for the round two clash between Rochdale Rovers and Eastern Suburbs, kicking off at 3.15.